Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number 12 from the October 2019 International A-Level Core Mathematics C12 paper. And this question is about logarithms, um, which is a P2 topic. Um, here we're told that given that P is a positive constant and that log to the base P of 2x minus log to the base P of 5 equals 3 plus log to the base P of 8, find in its simplest form an expression for x in terms of p so in the end our our answer should have x equals and there should be a p in the answer so it should say x equals and p should be in the answer somewhere that's um how we have to express the answer in the end so basically we have to get rid of these logarithms okay and what we could do here is we could uh, bring all the logarithm terms to one side um so for example i can say this is log to the base p of 2x minus log to the base p of 5 minus log to the base p of 8 is equal to 3. All right. So now this is like, um, you know, using the division law. All right. You, this is like a subtraction. This is another subtraction. You could even think of it like this if you want to make it a bit easier for you to in case you get confused. Log to the base p of 2x minus and I can write this as log to the base p of 5 plus log to the base p of 8 you could write it like that if you want to okay equals 3 and I can combine these two together these two by um, if they are um, added if they're added together if the separate logs are added you can multiply these terms inside them and write it as one single logarithm that's how we can combine these log terms so this is going to be log to the base p of 40 okay and that's equal to 3 and now i can combine these two by using the division law so i have log to the base p of 2x over 40 and that's equal to 3 so now this is like log to the base p of x over 20 equals 3 just simplifying that a little bit first now we're ready to um, re re write it without the log term. So basically, what we did is we use some of the laws of logarithms. Over here, I use a law of logarithms that when you have log to the base a of b plus log to the base a of c, you can write them as log to that same base of the product of b and c. Okay, it's kind of like similar to the laws of exponents that I explained in one of the earlier videos. And if I have log to the base a of b, minus log to the base a of c that's like log to the base a of b over c okay that's also another form of um you know um, another rule that's a, that's a very important rule these are two important rules very very important rules okay of logarithms which are used in all these questions so i use both of these laws i combine these two together by using the you know the multiplication law and these two together using the division law now the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re rewrite this um, in index form. So, for example, if I have log to the base a of b equals c, I can rewrite this in index form. This is the base, this is the power, and this is the result. So this gives you p to the power of 3 is equal to, this is the base, this is the power, is equal to x over 20. All right, so therefore I can finally write my answer as x equals, remember the answer has to say x equals, 20 times p cubed this is the answer to this question okay 12 part one okay so we've written um x in terms of p in its simplest form all right so we had to get rid of the logarithms basically so that's a pretty simple log question um uh, just using a few of the laws of logarithms that we should know so we use the law of logarithms log to the base a of b plus log to the base a um, of um, c equals log to the base a of b times c we also use the law log to the base a of b minus log to the base a of c equals log to the base a of b divided by c and we also use the fact that if you have log to the base a of b equals c you can rewrite that in index form as a to the power of c equals b base this is the power this is the answer in index form okay so these are very very important law or rules of logarithms that we used to sort to to you know rewrite this in terms 
of you know something which doesn't have logarithms x in terms of p okay now for part two of this question number 12 it says solve the equation 2 times log to the base 2 of y all squared plus 7 times log to the base 2 of y minus 15 equals 0 now there's a bit of a problem here that some people have with this type of question so i would like to just make it very clear to you log to the base 2 of y squared is not the same as log to the base 2 of y when the whole thing is squared this is just the y part being squared and this is the whole thing being squared so these two are not the same thing this is actually what this means is log to the base 2 of you can say y times y which can be rewritten as log to the base 2 of y plus log to the base 2 of y whereas this means log to the base 2 of y multiplied by itself all right so you can see here that this is going to give you two times log to the base 2 of y and that's where the power law comes from that when you have log to the base of a of b to the power of c it's the same thing as c times log to the base a of b that's another very important law the, this we call it the power law and this is the reason for it basically because this power means you have to repeat this number that many times okay and from the addition law that gives you log to the base two of this plus this plus however many times it's written down so whatever numbers there is the number of times that's going to be repeated all right so this is equal to that whereas here that's not the same this is where it's just the, the this term this y that is being squared this is when the whole thing is being squared they're not the same thing so i can't treat this like some people will treat this question as like two log the base two y squared plus seven log to the base two y minus 15 equals zero now this question and this question are totally different what i would do in this question i would say okay this is log to the base 2 y to the power of 4 plus log to the base 2 y to the power of 7 minus 15 equals 0 and then i would combine these two by multiplication and then i would continue right and that will give me a totally different answer to what this actually is i can't write this in this form this i can't write this two up there because it's not only the y that is to the power of two the whole thing is to the power of two so that's a very very important point a lot of people make a mistake with that these are not the same i can't i can't do this this is wrong okay so before we start i want to make sure that that's a very very clear to you all now what we're going to do to deal with this question is i'm going to say okay this is like a what's called a disguised quadratic like we just uh, you know i think a lot of questions in p1 are similar to that. disguised quadratic okay this is two times something squared plus seven times that same thing minus 15 equals zero so it's like a quadratic equation they're called disguised quadratics so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say let for example u be the same as log to the base two of y all right that means u squared is log to the base 2 of y all squared okay the whole thing squared so this will be therefore rewritten as 2 u squared plus 7 u minus 15 equals 0 now i can solve this by trying to factorize it first let's see if it does factorize i think it does because i've got minus 30 and plus 7 you have 2 u squared and minus 15 that gives you a product of negative 30 and the sum is positive 7 so we have here um, 10 times 3 so it's going to be positive 10 u and it's going to be um, 10 times minus 3 minus 3 u those two will multiply to give you negative 30 u squared and to give you plus 7 u all right so now the common factor from these two here i can say is 2 u 2 u times u is 2 u squared 2 u times plus 5 u plus 5 sorry is 10u and u times minus 3 is minus 3u and minus 3 times 5 that's right so you're going to end up with u plus 5 as one factor and 2u minus 3 as the other factor and that's equal to 0 so our solutions are either u plus 5 equals 0 or 2u minus 3 equals 0 so u is equal to negative 5 or u is equal to 3 over 2 so now remember we said u is log to the base 2 of y so i can say that means log to the base 2 of y is equal to negative 5 or log to the base 2 of y is equal to 3 over 2. now i can use our uh, 
the definition of logarithms, log to the base a of b equals c, can be rewritten as a to the power of c equals b. a to the power of c equals b. So this is like 2 to the power of minus 5 is equal to y. There's no problem with a log of something equaling something negative. That's fine. This can't be negative, but this can be negative. You can't have log to the base 2 of something negative. But log to the base 2 of something can be negative because you can have a negative power. 2 to the power of negative 5 can equal y. That's fine. And here you have 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to y. They're asking us to give our answer in simplified thirds where appropriate. So here y is going to be uh, 1 over 32 because uh, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. That's like 1 over 2 to the power of 5, which is 1 over 32. And here you're going to have y equals, now this means the square root of 2 cubed. The square root of 2 cubed. So which is like the square root of 2 times 2 times 2. So you're en you'll end up with basically, uh, this, that's going to give you the square root of 4 times 2, which is 2 root 2. Square root of 4 gives you 2, 2 root 2. So these are the two solutions. Okay, now, uh, y can't be positive or negative. I can't take positive or negative of this, although normally when you find the square root of something, you take the positive or negative. We only want the positive value of this because this can never be a negative value. So and I'm not going to put plus or minus here, which in some cases I might have to, but with the logarithms, this the term here can never be zero or negative. Okay, so log to the base 2 it has to be, always be something greater than 0. Log to the base anything, that number here must be greater than 0. Okay, it doesn't, the log, whole log can be something negative as we've seen here, but that can't be negative. If I put a negative value in here, it's undefined. So those are our two solutions, 1 over 32 and 2 root 2. And that finishes off this question, 12 part 2. Um, I hope that was clear. Some very important points came out there. Okay, and probably the most important from this is that log to the base 2 of y when it's all squared is not the same as log to the base 2 of y with just the y squared. They're not the same. And you can't treat them the same. And if it was this question, it would go on to, to be dealt with in a different way and, of course, give you different answers. But this is actually the question. It's actually a disguised quadratic. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope that was clear. Um, other questions from this um, paper, October 2019, C12 can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from the topic of logarithms from P2 can be found in this um, playlist over here. The link is over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And please make sure that you check out the description for other material you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.